Hello YouTubers, in this video I will show you how to install new icons to your uh, Linux uh, uh, distribution. Especially this is valid for KD as I'm now on uh, Magia 5 KD version. Uh, sometimes uh, the, the plain standard icons are not good for many users and they want to change their icons on the folders or here on the menu. So the first easy way is of course to go to your system settings, application appearance, icons and as we see we are here this is the standard stock KD that comes with Magia 5. We have um, just uh, three, three types of icons. Um, the best, the easiest way is to click on get new icon themes and they will pop up many icon themes here that you can just click install and install it. Uh, you can sort it by your ra ratings, uh, most downloaded, uh, etc. Uh, let's say most downloaded, LA Capitan, let's download this one. But sometimes here uh, the themes are not installable and you cannot install them uh, properly or they don't show after you install them. Let's say second one. Let's click on, you could not install fans of file not found. And sometimes it's, it's not good to download it and install it from here. Uh, if you click right now, it updated. It, it shows the L capital and then you click apply and it will show. The second way is to the second way is to go to the famous website of KD. Uh, it's called kd-look.org. Uh, let's write KD look. Yes, this one kd-look.org. And here there's a lot of cool features for KD. Uh, desktop environment. Let's say we are right now searching for icons, icon themes. See, in here the advantages is that you can see them properly. Uh, what what are the icons look like? Santa right. Legacy, Blue Tardis. If you click, let's say on Blue Tardis, there's some description, and uh, usually there's a comments. Uh, you have to click the later on files to in order to download this icon theme. Usually this is in tar.gzip uh, uh, file. You download it. I already downloaded it. And uh, in downloads it should look like this Taurus. And uh, the second method right now we can go again to the um, to the system settings, application appearance, icons, and there's a button install theme from file. You click it, find your just downloaded file, which start is blue. Click OK, and here it appears. There. Now, before uh, installing like that, it's good to just to check the zip file. Let me show what I mean. Uh, because on this website there's um, a lot of icons as we can see here and uh, not all are compatible with uh, KD uh, and we are using KD4 not KD5 Plasma. So you have to be sure for yourself just to check usually icon theme should look like this these are the sizes of the icons, difference in pixels, and should have a file iindex.theme and uh, accompanied with the cache file. This is the typical icon theme. If something doesn't look like that, uh, you better don't install it because it's not going to be compatible. Um, the third way, the third way is to use it to install it via root privileges so that uh, these icons will be available for all users in a certain uh, machine. 
because if you install it in this way that I showed through the system settings, it this icon theme will be available only for your user. But let's say if your brother or sister have accounts on the, on the same computer, they can't uh, they can't use this theme. So better use it to install it like a root. The easiest way is just extract it. Extract first the the file. And it will make the folder. Then we open a console here so that we can go as root. And then copy the whole folder, the whole folder into user, user, user share icons. Icon. So you have to copy it here. This folder you have to copy it here user share icons okay it's copied uh, let's change for any case the permissions uh, let's make them like double. Minus R. user share icons all right, now the icons are installed as a on in as a root, and they are available for the all users in the system. Once you reboot, these will be uh, available in your system application icons here. That is. Uh, before I finish the video, I want to say that uh, sometimes the if you install it like the first two methods through here as a normal user, you need to do some tricks before they appear <laughs> I even if you reboot the, the computer it's still sometimes uh, icons doesn't show on all places I'll show you what I mean uh, let's say we will put this icon right now TARDIS update systems and you see that they change somehow but on the dolphin if we close it and open dolphin again they still don't show even though the system right now let's see you you probably see okay let me reboot or log out log in they probably will update but sometimes they still don't update even uh, log out or reboot and you have to play okay they change right now here but if you open dolphin sometimes it still don't they don't change the trick is just to play a bit with the uh, sizes and um, here you see we, I change the size here sometimes it hasn't updated it properly if I change medium you see some of them are changed but not all of them larger on large appear because right now it updated there's a trick to update it with a command line but I'm not going to show you because for the new user this coming too much right now the best way is to play a bit with the resolutions here on the icons if you go again play several times here with uh, <coughs> icons just switch click on uh, some other theme get back to the theme theme that you want click apply you see it still updates close it open it uh, and maybe reboot it and they will adjust itself to update but uh, the best uh, way that uh, my experience shows is to install them as a root and after reboot of the system they will be properly updated so that's it uh, thanks for watching and see you next time